to go line up in Foot Lock in Champs and have these foot to go get some Jordans. Well, I'm going to go further than that. Some of us don't go to sleep the night before just to be on time to go get the Jordans. Okay? I mean, hey, I, Michael Jordan, I mean, my, 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 he's the coldest basketball player ever. I'm not knocking it for one Jordans. But what I'm getting at, what I'm getting at, you got to realize that you have to line up for success. In order for you to line up for success, just like you pay money or your parents or whoever paid money to get Jordans or J's or the J's on your feet like y'all like to say. Just like y'all do that. Line up for success. It costs. It costs for success too. But let me tell you some of the things you have to do. Some of the, the things you, you have to pay in order for you to gain success. First of all, look at this. This this is a just this word. I don't mean the whole thing, just look at this word, defeated. You have to know that you will not be defeated. You have to know that. You have to accept the fact that you will not be defeated regardless of any obstacles that you face. Okay? You have to have desire. You have to have drive. You have to have persistent trying. You have to have consistency. You have to have just a sometimes attitude like, you know what, I don't care what nobody else say, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get success regardless of who try to take it away from me, who try to keep me from getting to success, regardless of how hard y'all try to deny success, I'm gonna make a way out of no way to go get success. That's how you gotta be. If you want it enough, you gonna do whatever you have to do to go get it. You ain't gonna make excuses. You ain't gonna care what neighborhood you come from. You ain't gonna care what somebody else saying about you. That's another thing, man. Don't, don't get caught up in worrying about what people say, and don't you be worrying too much about what other people doing. That's one of the main things that keep us from gaining success is the fact that we still have to worry about what everybody else is doing instead of worrying about what we got to do to gain success. Man, clap for that, man. What it is, man, it's, man, it's, it's, it's simply said, but you got to do it. I can't do it for you. Your parents can't do it for you. Your teachers can't do it for you. You got to look yourself in the mirror, man, if you have to. You got to remind yourself, I'm going to get this. Or like they say, I'm going to get me. Man, if you don't want it bad enough, you ain't going to work hard enough. If you don't want it, don't play with it. Don't play with it like you want it, man. You gotta, you gotta want it. You gotta want it. Y'all know the song by French Montana. Oh, I'm gonna get down here because I know, I know y'all know the song. Like that. Check it out. I ain't worried about nothing. I'm gonna tell y'all why I did it. I, I like the song too. I be nodding my head. I ain't worried about it. I like it too. I, 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 but what I'm getting at, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The fact of the matter is, you better be worried about something. <laughs> Real talk, you better be worried about, you better be worried about doing your work in school. <laughs> you better be worried about. Sometimes stay after class to talk to your teachers. Uh. <laughs> Man, you better be worried about sometimes not going to a basketball game or a football game and going to the library or going in the room lock yourself up with the book. Not Facebook, but the book. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing, man. Y'all need to stay away from Facebook. 
people, that ain't nothing but some trouble. Faith woman, put your face in a book, a real book. Put your face in a real book. Not Facebook, not Twitter. Destruction. That's what it is. <laughs> but man, come on, man. Real, real talk, man. All that Facebook, that Twitter, the social media, yeah, there, there's some good things about it in some cases, but I, I mean, right now, y'all should be worried about that because it's, it's a lot, lot of stuff on there that that is just not good for y'all. It's not good for y'all. And, and also, I have to point out the fact, which I know I know some of y'all in here most probably do it, or y'all know somebody who does it. There's, there's this big thing called self-esteem, man. Y'all know what self-esteem is? Okay, great, great, great. Self-esteem. Come on, the word is there. The word, I mean, it, 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 it speaks for itself. It's called self-esteem. Self-esteem. I mean, it's supposed to come from yourself. Now, there are some outside forces that may influence your self-esteem, but it all starts within you, because that's, that's what it's called, self-esteem. So, don't get into the habit of, of posting pictures, or like y'all like to call them, selfies. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't get into the habit of posting selfies on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. And then, you know what, know, know how y'all do it though? Y'all y'all go by however many likes you get on your selfie or from your selfie. That's what determines how good you feel about yourself. Come on man, you don't need, you don't need nobody to be hitting a like button to determine how good you gonna feel or how good your week gonna be, or how good your month gonna be. Man, you gotta look yourself in the mirror every day and say, guess what? I am somebody, I am gonna strive, and I will not be defeated. I mean, whatever you gotta do to get it done, get it done, because I see nothing but potential in this room, but also there's gonna always be people out there that try to steadily knock you down. They gonna steadily try to say you're not gonna mount to nothing. But those are the people you don't pay attention to. You just keep it moving. You keep it moving. I don't even know how long I've been talking. I can just keep talking. But y'all let me know when y'all want me to get down. But I'm gonna, let, me, let, me, let me recite one of my poems real quick. <laughs> Motivation. Oh yeah, the, the title of my book. Poetic Pleasures and Treasures. I know on the program it says Poetic Pleasures, but the title of my book is Poetic Pleasures and Treasures. It is available on Amazon. It is available uh, various ways, but the easiest way I can tell you is Amazon. Uh, it's, it's 82 great poems in the book. Right now I'm gonna recite one of my poems off of page 42. It's called Motivation. Motivation can be tremendously beneficial. It's a very powerful tool. Motivation can be used in everyday life as well as in school. Many folk have little to no motivation at all. The lack of motivation can bring an abrupt fall. Motivation can cause you to be the leader of the pack. Motivation can cause others to view your actions as extremely whack. To get to motivation, to get to where you are today, has motivation played a vital part? Strive for motivation. It's never too late to start. May y'all make some noise for that. Also, uh, 
I know y'all like to use, I know y'all like to use these slang terms. What up, son? <laughs> son, you don't have no swag, son. <laughs> son, you can't play no ball, son. Check it out, check it out, check it out. In reference to, to swag and sun, I mean, I, I want y'all to remember this. This is one thing that can remind y'all to, to steadily keep striving and, and setting goals. Swag. For, for, for this instance, I mean, I know they like to spell swag different ways and all that, but for this right here, I'm gonna spell swag. S W A G. Okay, so so what we're gonna say swag means is sun. Since y'all like to say sun, the S stands for sun. The W is what. The A is A. What the A is gonna be about, and the G is gonna be goals. So if you just walk up, I can walk up to you. Swag. Like that. Son, what about goals? You see what I'm saying? Like, so it's like a reminder. Let's walk up to your friends. Wow. It, it sort of reminds everybody to be like, hey, if, if I'm not striving for goals, if I don't have goals, I need to get that within my plan, my, my, my train of thought. It's great to have goals because you're always striving for something, you're always reaching for something, you're always trying hard. So nothing wrong with setting goals, especially if they're positive goals. Well look, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of y'all way. I so appreciate y'all attention. Uh, just remember that the practice of persistence brings success into existence. And man, I, I wish y'all have a great rest of the school year. Thank you, thank you. Ain't open Pandora's box. They try to slander your man on CNN.